In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top feature requests Final Cut Pro needs right now. Final Cut Pro is so close to being fully featured, but it is still lacking quite a bit in certain areas. I have a strong feeling that when Apple announces the new Silicon Mac Pro, they will also announce a flagship Final Cut Pro update. And I feel that it's gonna be huge. And these are the top features that I feel that Final Cut Pro needs to make it world-class. So the first big feature that needs to be in Final Cut is being able to use either the audio rolls or the audio lanes to drop on effects. Why can't I drop an audio effect directly onto the audio rolls or the audio lane? And it affects everything in there. And on top of that, I would love for every audio roll that we have to have its own monitor, not just the stereo. Being able to take the entire audio roll or the audio lane and just drop the master audio for the entire section. So instead of selecting everything and then dropping the audio for every clip that's in there, so the audio meters would turn into an audio mixer where you would have your main stereo mix and then every audio roll to be able to adjust the volume of that roll. Another audio feature that I would love to have is automatic ducking. So auto ducking, but using AI to know when the voice is speaking and when it's not. I would love for the system to know when there is dialogue and music and automatically bring down the music so the voice punches through a little bit better and to make sure that the music doesn't have any frequencies that compete with the frequencies that are in the voice. This is something that should be fairly easy to do with machine learning and especially for Apple. Because Apple already has audio sync detection and they do have their own transcription services, those features need to be in Final Cut Pro right now. Being able to transcribe natively in Final Cut Pro to add captions or graphics and Apple knowing its market and how many people do content creation, this feature should be in Final Cut Pro already. And another big one that I would love to have natively in Final Cut is auto silence detection and just be able to cut up a clip and remove the silences right on the timeline. But right now I'm using Timebolt and Gling to give me that silence remover. There are links in the description that go over those amazing tools. This is something I would love to have in Final Cut Pro because I find myself doing it often. I want to be able to select a clip, grab a different graphic, drag it on top, and just replace that graphic. I know you can replace, but I would love to be able to replace, but it keeps all the video attributes, like the audio changes, any movement, any animations, any effects, any color changes, it remains and it just replaces the clip as is. This would be fantastic for situations like this where I have an animation that pops in and right now the process was dragging the clip. You'd have to copy and go to the next one and then paste the attributes, but being able to just drag it and then drop it right onto the timeline and then click replace with attributes. So it would just take on the properties that it already had. Or if you want to replace a clip in the timeline, it would bring over the audio attributes. It would bring the scaling, the color correction, any animations that you had on it. This needs to be in here. Talking about animation, another big thing that has been talked about in nauseam is keyframes. Just give us the keyframes. They already exist well enough in motion, so we know you can do it. Just give us the keyframes and smoothing and ease in and ease out. And so many editors would be happy just being able to do simple animations in Final Cut with ease in and ease out and give it for all, all the properties of a clip to be able to ease in and ease out the the opacity, the rotation, the scale, the position, give us hold keyframes, just give us all those things that will make this a full featured modern day application. It's already fantastic. And why not bring that simple feature that everyone's been asking for? At this point, it does feel like it's just out of spite that we're not getting that. A huge feature that I know will eventually come and one of the major apps will figure it out. And Final Cut is primed to be one of those is using AI to do auto color correction or color grading. I do see AI being able to have the ability to have an input image of a still from a movie that you love and being able to transfer that color grade onto your footage or your project. And the first company to really crack that code and have it natively in their software is going to have a game changer on their hands. So I'm looking forward to who's gonna do that first because if it's Premiere, I will start using it.
But here's hoping that Final Cut and Apple are the first out of the gate with that. And while we're on the AI train, another big one would be to have auto green screen or auto background removal. Apple has already shown that they can do it on their iPhone with photos. So it isn't a big leap to do that in Final Cut Pro for moving images. I know that they'd have to refine it, but it would be just more time with the training model for AI to understand what is foreground and what is background. And to have the tool be able to have input prompts of what you are hoping to isolate. But I know Apple is gonna go all in and have it as automated as possible where it's gonna work in most cases. And it's even one of those things where it'll either work or it doesn't. And if the system just says, oh, there's not enough information within the shot for it to work properly, then you can maybe have some prompts and tell it like, you know, oh, this is the arm, this is the object I want to remove. But again, auto object removal or background removal would be a fantastic feature. So Apple did introduce tracking in Final Cut, but I think a 3D camera solver or a 3D camera tracker would be the next logical step for them to be able to do that. But a 3D camera tracker with depth information to be able to put in text or objects behind foreground objects, that would be a huge way to take Final Cut Pro to the next level. I would love the ability to have tabs of the timelines that are open here so I can quickly switch between them instead of having to push and hold here and look for them. So a simple feature, simple request is just to add tabs for the timelines. Even if it's a few, it's a lot easier than clicking and holding. It would also be a visual way to see which one is the first one quickly and move to it. And I know that it'll probably never happen in Final Cut, but the ability to do pancake timelines in Final Cut where you can stack more than one on top of each other, that would be a huge help. And another feature that I would love to see in Final Cut is to be able to add a watch folder of assets that I use over and over. Put it beside the titles and the audio tab. If there was just another tab beside the titles where it would be assets, where it points to a folder on the hard drive. And even if that folder has to be locked in place and you can't move it and it can only be in that place, where I can drop in my logos, my sound effects that I use, any other graphics that uh, I wanna add, music, regardless of what project or library that I'm actually working in. Because a lot of times I have to go searching through other libraries or, or try to remember where I put that to be able to drag it in. But being able to see it here would just save so much time, especially when you're creating for YouTube, where the assets are very similar from video to video. So it'd be very similar to creating your own category within effects that you've saved. It would just be a folder dedicated to graphics and assets that you use constantly throughout every single project. And if Apple doesn't announce a major update to Final Cut Pro, then the future does become questionable. And in this video, I talk about the two possible futures that Apple has with Final Cut Pro. Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, thanks for watching.